The auditions are over and it's time for Irving's teens to step into the spotlight. That's right, Irving's Got Talent is right around the corner and Patty Danko and Thomas Anich have all the details. So, I want to know about the day of auditions. I know lots of nervous kids showed up, but... <laughs> it went great. It went great. We had a little bit of everything this year. And so we've had some singing and some dancing. Uh, we had a folk group show up, which is kind of unique having teens do a folk song. Yeah. Um, and then we had... Uh, <coughs> it just, I mean, it's a little, little bit of everything. We That's some really great dance groups also. Yes. Mm -hmm. Those are my favorite. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. So. So tell us, what are we going to see this year? Well, like I said, it's going to be a little bit of everything. We, we got a few extra bands this year, which has been nice. So that's always good when we have some bands audition. And, uh, you know, we had some um, ethnic dancing this year, which was a little bit different. And, and the audition was phenomenal. So we look forward to that. So I, like I said, it's, it's going to be a pretty eclectic show. Wow, so th some surprises this year. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we always like to mix it up too, so we're ecstatic that we've had mm -hmm. a lot of different groups come and audition, so we really can have a variety of entertainment at the show. One of the things that I love about this event is how, the, you know, you always hear about teens bullying and da, da 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 You come to this show and all you can do is feel the love. They are so excited to see their friends get out there and then they cheer for people who they don't even know and it just, it's a really, it's a great evening. It's a lot of fun with the kids. Yeah, it, it is. It, it's it's great to be supportive of the kids that have this awesome talent. You know, sometimes you don't always get to see that. So we're really happy to be part of the show and be able mm -hmm. to spotlight them. That's neat. So do you have any fond memories of this particular show? I do, actually, because back whenever I was in high school, I was in the show. It was me and it was a big group of us. We had people who were dancing. I was one of the singers with a couple of like other four other people. They were, it was a big production, that's for sure. And I think probably my favorite thing about the whole entire process was whenever we were there waiting for our turn to go on stage, like how you were saying, everyone was so nice. I made like life long friendships just from being in the same room waiting to go on stage. It was uh, wonderful. Yeah. That's how that's supposed to work, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's so great. <laughs> so put the details for the night so everybody can come out and see these kids do their thing. So it's going to be Friday, February 17th at the Irving Arts Center in the Carpenter Hall and we'll start the show at 7 p.m. All right, good deal. So I'll see you there. <laughs> I'm yes, looking you forward will. to that. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, and really looking forward to supporting the kids. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks, Thanks. Brad. All right, folks, don't forget, that is coming up soon, Friday, February 17th. I was about to say September. Did you see that? Friday, February 17th, starting at 7 o'clock.